But here we are going in 138 pound class. Last year's returning champion facing you, 138 pound Frank DeAngelis from Spencerport High School in Section 5. Has an outstanding record of 101 wins and one loss. Facing Gene Tundo. Gene Tundo from Frontier in Section 6. The record of 30 and 1. Well, here is last year's outstanding wrestler, 138 pounds from Section 5, Jim, Frank DeAngelis, and he's got a record. 101 wins and one loss. Outstanding. Matter of fact, I, I walked in yesterday and everybody's been telling me about Frank DeAngelis. And uh, I guess he is definitely in contention as far as uh, as far as being one of the outstanding wrestlers tonight. Apparently he's one of the most sought after wrestlers in terms of collegiate prospects. You can see he's going through some pain. His left knee is all bundled up. That's tough. It's got to be, you know, luckily I've never had a knee injury, you know, knock on wood. And I hope it stays that way after 20 years of competition, high school and junior high school, college and pro ball. And uh, I don't know what it's like to play with a knee injury or a brace on your knee and not be able, not being able to move around. But uh, I play with other injuries, but I've never had a knee injury. And it, it takes a lot for a person to, to, to have that kind of injury and, and, and still be able to participate like... Frank DeAngelis is tonight. Yes. Well, so I think it takes a lot of courage. I think it's typical of certain people to, when they have certain impediments like gutter injuries, to really have everything they have, Jim, and a little bit more. This score is two to one. As Gene Tundo from Section Six. Negotiates an escape with about nine seconds left. You notice that Frank DeAngelis has a does have a uh, a reputation for for being such a great wrestler. And you know, if you notice that kid from Section Six, Section Six doesn't back him off at all. He just keeps on not coming. Bit. He's not, not afraid of Frank. To, Anyone afraid of uh, Frank at I all? I guess the great thing about wrestling, Jim, that famous Oklahoma State saying. Never Which was the that? horse that couldn't be rode, <laughs> never the man that couldn't be rode. Well, that's rode. the way these wrestlers are. No matter how good you are, there's always someone waiting in the wings. That's right. How oh, well I know that. Ten years of professional football, <laughs> there's always somebody waiting in the wings. As a matter of fact, it might be on your wing. <laughs> I've been coming to these intersections about 11 or 12 years now, Jim, and it never seems to amaze me how, like you were saying before, the wrestler here from Section 6, Gene Tundo, is not the least bit odd. Not at all. He wouldn't, he wouldn't care if it was 10 feet tall and 280 pounds. He just keeps on coming. He's not concerned about his reputation or what kind of wrestler he is. He's out to do a job. So far, he's done a very good job. Scored, he scored two points during the season. He's what he won this season. He won he won 35 matches and 34 more pins, right? That's right. And it's outstanding. He scored two points on him already. And it's not it's not gonna be an easy match. This kid's a good wrestler. This, this score with about 50 seconds to go in the second period. Four to two, Frank DeAngelis. He's in there again. He is a strong boy, Jim. Yeah. He's got a lot of desire. Smart wrestler though, takes his time, he's not, he doesn't rush anything, picks the kid up, takes his time bringing him down. Use his head. Take your time. He's working for that pin, he does, he wants that pin. He wants that pin. He's a little high, isn't he? A little high, much, well, that's what happens when you get a little, uh-oh, be careful. I tell you, he's a smart wrestler. He knows, I tell you, he knows a lot about pinning, too. Takes his time. Takes up three points. All right, the score at the end of the second period in the 138-pound weight class, 
Frank DeAngelis, nine. Gene Tundo, two. One, two, three. I can see why uh, a lot of colleges are after, uh, why Frank DeAngelis is sought after. It's unusual. Figure four around the head. The scrapper is a good, this is a very aggressive scrapper. Stays in there, hangs in there. A lot of determination, a lot of desire. The score is nine to three. Now with Frank DeAngelis leading last year's outstanding wrestler award winner. Guy like Frank Frank DeAngelis could give you a poach your opponent's uh, coach an, an ulcer. <laughs> <laughs> No matter what you do, the guy's got an answer for it. Well, I think it's important. Uh, Jim, something you pointed out again earlier, we can't mention often enough that the, these boys come to win. Even if they're number two, they come to this final to win. That's right. There's no disgrace being, no disgrace being number two because, like I said, you're the two best guys in the country. Excuse me, two best guys in the state. We've got about 47 seconds left in the third. Thing. You heard about the thing in Syracuse, right? Just, you know. <laughs> now you look at Frank D'Angelo. See, he comes in this match just with all the confidence in the world he's going to win it. He's got a lot of confidence in himself, a young man. You just wonder sometimes what the pressure is on someone who's won 100 bouts and lost one. Well, I'll tell you, for guys who want 100 bouts, it's easier to get up for a match like this than it is and sometimes when you're wrestling a guy in a dual meet that hasn't won any at all. Because you go out there and you're, you know, you're not really taking this guy serious. All of a sudden you find yourself in a very hairy situation. You always get up for the good ones. Well, that's the end of it. There was no doubt about the complete domination here by Frank Angelus. And this crowd really appreciates this young man from Spence Support, Section 5. He is a returning and defending 138-pound class champion, Frank DeAngelis, Spence Support.